What is everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host for today, Raj Recording, also known as at Raj Former on the internet. I'm doing different things with my hair and I just want to make it look nice. Someone said it was bullshit. But besides that, I want to talk about the new apparent title for the upcoming Spider-Man film in 2017 because I found that to be noteworthy. So the BBC unearthed that Marvel bought the property to Spider-Man Homecoming the Movie.com. Huh, that is super specific. It has to be at least one of the many titles they're looking at. Now, I think this is super exciting for a multitude of reasons. Three reasons to be exact. Number one, and this is the one that I don't care about the most, the comic books. Apparently, there's a comic book called Spider-Man Homecoming that saw a bunch of things happen, including Iron Man and Captain America coming into the story and helping out Spider-Man. And also, it showed the introducing of the symbiote and also the black Spider-Man I don't think they're gonna do that. I honestly don't think that's what it's gonna be. I think if anything, it's gonna be a few homages. I don't really think they're gonna go and do the Black Symbiote Spider-Man this early into Spider-Man's uh, new reboot. I think that'll be a huge mistake, especially with a new character. You need to flesh him out. He's probably gonna be only in a little bit of Civil War, so you need a time for him to be himself and not the black suit version of him, because the other two I really do care about. Number two, this is a bit of a tongue-in-cheek thing toward Marvel getting the rights of Spider-Man. Spider-Man back for the movie universe. Spider-Man Homecoming, getting he's coming home where he rightfully belongs. I think that's kind of what they're trying to go for here. Uh, I don't think they're overtly saying, hey, look at these idiots over here, Sony, that used to have it, because Sony is working with them still to produce these movies, but I think it's just kind of tongue-in-cheek for the audience and the hardcore that know about this deal and why the reboot's happening. Now, the third thing. This is the thing that I care about the most. I care about Homecoming in the terms of a Spider-Man movie movie in high school. I want a ton of high school drama. Why do I say this? Because it's been compared, this movie at least, to a John Hughes film. And that's exactly what I want out of this. I want this to be a funny, exciting adventure. I don't want this to be super melodramatic and dark and, you know, people are dying. I don't want that, right? I want this to be kind of a coming-of-age story. I want Spider-Man to figure out who he is. I want the audience to figure out who he is. And within that, I want him to be fighting maybe mid-tier villains, right? The Shocker, maybe someone like that, or you know, Scorpion. Someone that's not really too high stakes, but someone that is able to give him a fight for his money. I also want him to be going to dances and meeting girls and doing things that high school people should be doing. Not me. <sighs> I do want him to see that. I think that's an important part of Spider-Man, and if you bring that back and bring it and focus it on the high school part of it, you would have something that is uniquely this Spider-Man. Something that is specifically for the Tom Holland Spider-Man, right? The other Spider-Man we know. We know the Peter Parker that is played by Tobey Maguire. We know the other Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, as kind of this guy that was in high school for one year and then he just goes and does a really me mediocre movie, whatever. Now we can know this Spider-Man as a kid. Kid, a person just starting out. I want them to stay in high school, really show his relationship with it, and have a lot of fun with it. The Spectacular Spider-Man cartoon was amazing because it showed the actual drama that he had when he was late for curfew, when he missed a date with Mary Jane. And the title Homecoming is really giving me a lot of hopes that this is taking place around Homecoming, and maybe he has to deal with getting a date, or maybe getting a date from Zendaya, who is playing a character named Michelle in this movie, and she is awesome by by the way, and I'm very excited to see her in this film. I would love, I'm so excited to see this movie, and I think that the homecoming title just made me more excited, because I really hope that they're focusing in on the high school mentality of this. So what do you guys think of this title? Do you think it means something? Am I reaching, or am I not reaching? Leave your comments down below. Let me know. Love you all. Bye-bye.